today it's a gratitude list of records it was good to like think about it for a second I picked up the new Bowie record I've listened to it but just digitally and I haven't given it like the time that I'd like to as like a massive Bowie fan I feel like it requires a bit of concentration I need to sit with it <laughs> look up here man I'm in danger I've got nothing left to lose. I grabbed this one, um, the Neil Young cover, which is Only Love Can Break Your Heart. It's strange to imagine that song like in any other format other than the original, which is one of my favorite songs, but their version is also one of my favorites. And I definitely think this was like a peripheral reference for my new record in terms of like the bringing in more electronic elements. This guy, um, I'm not super familiar with this band other than I really love the first song on the record called I Can't Escape Myself. It's like a grower. It's, I've made the mistake of DJing it. <laughs> Got a minute to like figure out how to <laughs> ramp this up. <laughs> but it's good, it's dark and it's good. Uh, I escape myself. Only Ones, a favorite. Yeah, like English, mid, late 70s. For whatever reason, I, I guess maybe this is like a, a UK release, so what I have doesn't have Another Girl, Another Planet on it. For that song alone, it's worth having the record. You should listen <laughs> to that song. It's okay. It's really good. <laughs> I need to own on vinyl the song Someone Who Cares. If you try to follow me home tonight, do 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 do. It's really good. Anyway, shit, I meant to find that, but that's okay. This is good too. And then it's a toss-up between the first, you know, two. These were big records for me in the past, and then I kind of went through a resurgence of obsession. The record that I am putting out soon, it wasn't so much like stylistically that these were big reference points, but um, something that I think is really effective about this record in particular is the vocal treatment is so specific and identifiable and obviously coupled with her voice, which is so distinct and powerful. Um, it really ties the whole record together, like the songs can jump from you know, mild genre changes or production styles, but like that really roots the record and that was something that I was interested in be like a very dominant thing on my record because I was intentionally trying to sort of like branch out and not be excluding of, you know, influences that I haven't really had the space to play around with. So yeah, that. Thank you so much. Yeah, thank you.